Hey, and welcome back to the revolution and some more WWE2K20 news as Marvin Sigour 2K unveiled the official press release for the Women's Evolution Showcase, confirming a bunch of WWE superstars, unlockable alternative attires, and so much more. To make sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K20 women's content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of today's news and so much more. Following the official trailer for this year's showcase, The Women's Evolution, 2K dropped some more information surrounding the showcase where they had the following to say. In 2014, four talented young upstarts in NXT helped start what would eventually become known as the Women's Evolution in WWE. Fast forward to 2019 and women headlined WrestleMania for the first time in WWE history. WWE 2K20 tells the whole story in 2K Showcase, the Women's Evolution. Cover star Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Bailey, and Sasha Banks, the four horsewomen, describe the journey to bring women's wrestling to the forefront of WWE in their own words with exclusive live action footage. 2K Showcase includes 15 playable instant classic matches spanning the group's meteoric rise over the last five years. Players will unlock characters, attire parts, titles, and more as they progress. While the press release doesn't reveal too much, it does confirm alternate attires and models, with the following screenshot revealed alongside the info drop to confirm bonus attires for both Sasha Banks and Bailey from their epic match NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. After putting the screenshot side by side with the previous Sasha Banks screenshot, it does look as though Sasha will have at least two different models instead of a basic recolor when you compare the faces in both screenshots. Of course, I could be totally wrong, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Moving on, the official press release also revealed the official match listings for the showcase, so let's run through each and every single match. First up, we have the NXT Women's Championship match between Charlotte Flair and Natalya at NXT TakeOver, which saw both women competing for the vacant title previously held by Paige. This also confirms both Ric Flair and Bret Hart from this year's game, who acted as managers for their respective family members. The final moments of the match saw Charlotte Flair capture the NXT Women's Championship in what is often stated as Charlotte Flair's personal favourite match. Up next, we have the NXT TakeOver rival Fatal 4-Way Championship match, which saw Charlotte Flair put her championship on the line against her fellow horsewomen. The match notoriously saw Sasha Banks defeat Charlotte Flair to capture her first championship gold in WWE. Next up, we have the infamous matchup between Bailey and Sasha Banks at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, which saw Bailey defeat Sasha Banks to win her first championship gold in WWE in one of the greatest NXT matches of all time. Following that, we move away from NXT into the main roster as part of Night of Champions 2015, which saw Nikki Bella put her team's championship on the line against Charlotte Flair. The match is remembered as the moment that Nikki Bella's title reign finally came to an end at the hands of Charlotte Flair, just days after beating AJ Lee's record as the longest reigning Divas champion. The match also officially confirms the inclusion of both Brie and Nikki Bella, who have been out of full-time WWE action for quite some time now, with Nikki's last big match being against Ronda Rousey at Evolution. Up next, we have one of the most important moments in the Women's Evolution in a night which saw the Divas Championship evolve into the Women's Championship. The evening saw WWE Hall of Fame Alita return to the WWE for the official unveiling before Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair competed in a match with the women for the first time officially known as Superstars instead of Divas. The night would also see Charlotte Flair enter Divas Champion and leave as the brand new WWE Women's Champion. Following that historic match, we have the Raw Women's Championship match between Sasha Banks and Charlotte Flair, which saw Sasha Banks finally defeat rival Charlotte Flair and claim the championship gold for herself. Next up, we have the Backlash 2016 six-pack elimination match for the inaugural SmackDown Women's Championship, which included what is regarded as the greatest SmackDown women's roster to date. The pay-per-view saw Becky Lynch seal the deal with a disarmer to Carmella, becoming the first ever SmackDown Women's Champion. Up next is another pivotal moment in the women's evolution as 2016 saw Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks compete in the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match. Not only did the pay-per-view see the women compete in the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, but the pay-per-view would also see the women main event at pay-per-view for the first time ever in WWE. Charlotte would go on to defeat Banks at the pay-per-view, thus ushering in her third reign as the Raw Women's Champion. With so many important matches in the showcase, this one comes off as a little odd as Becky Lynch and Mickey James compete in singles action at the Elimination Chamber 2016 pay-per-view. 
while the match itself was something for the fans to enjoy. Nothing major happened at the Z pay-per-view and was remembered as more of a revenge match for Lynch after being blindsided by Mick James just weeks prior. Following that, we have the Raw Women's Championship match between Charlotte Flair and Bayley on the February 13th edition of Raw, which saw Bayley dethrone Charlotte as champion after a little help from BFF Sasha Banks. Moving on, we have another seemingly random matchup in the showcase with Fastlane's 2017 matchup between Sasha Banks and Nia Jax. As with the previous Becky match inclusion, this one, while somewhat random, still proved to be a decent matchup between the pair, even if it's necessarily needed in the showcase. While their previous matchup in the showcase might have been odd, the next encounter between Nia and Sasha would prove somewhat favourable as the pair would once again collide in a fatal four-way match at WrestleMania 33 alongside Charlotte Flair and Bayley. The WrestleMania matchup would go on to see Bayley successfully defend her championship after pinning Charlotte Flair with an elbow drop from the top row. Up next, we have another fan favourite WrestleMania moment with WrestleMania 34, which saw Asuka put her undefeated streak on the line against Charlotte Flair's SmackDown Women's Championship. The pay per view saw Charlotte successfully retain the gold and become the first woman to ever defeat Asuka in singles action. Following that, we have the epic encounter between Charlotte Flair and Becky at the first ever all women's pay per view evolution, which saw both women put their bodies on the line for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. When all was said and done, Becky Lynch left the pay-per-view victorious, thus ushering in the era of the man Becky Lynch. And finally, in the biggest step in the women's evolution today, we have the first ever women's WrestleMania main event as Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey competed in a triple threat match for both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania 35. The historic moment will go down in WWE history as a night which saw Becky Lynch become Becky T-Belt after rolling up Ronda Rousey for the win. I have to say, there really are some epic matches in there as part of the Women's Evolution Showcase and it's actually been rather fun to go back and revisit some of these matches with some of them I've not seen in quite some time. I will say, however, that some of the matches such as the Nia and Sasha Banks and Cameron Fastlane and the Becky vs Mickie James match at Elimination Chamber feel somewhat wasted. While good matches in themselves, there was no pivotal meaning surrounding both matches and the Becky vs Mickey match especially could have been swapped out for the SmackDown Women's Cage match between Alexa Bliss and Becky which involved the return of Mickey James. I would have also appreciated a spotlight on the Women's Tag Team Championships as part of the showcase which were held by the Boston Hook Connection, especially seeing as both Bailey and Sasha Banks are sporting their respective attires as part of the main roster models. While the titles themselves may be considered a flop by many, they were a huge part of the women's evolution and it would have been a nice touch to see them commemorated as part of the showcase. Joining the Boston Hug connection, however, are the obvious inclusions of Natalia, Paige, Alicia Fox, Dana Brooke, Alexa Bliss, Carmella, Naomi, Mickey James and Ronda Rousey who were all featured as part of the showcase listings. The showcase also seemingly confirms a bunch of new arenas including Evolution, NXT TakeOver, NXT TakeOver Rival, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, Night of Champions, WrestleMania 32, WrestleMania 33, WrestleMania 34, WrestleMania 35, Backlash, as well as the annual editions of Fastlane, Elimination Chamber and Hell in a Cell. The showcase also interestingly features a triple threat match along with a manager, which is something completely new to WWE 2K20 and it'll be interesting to see if this is a showcase exclusive or a brand new match type in this year's game. I have to say, while I'm a huge fan of the direction of the women's showcase, I think limiting the showcase to the four horsewomen has been somewhat of a huge missed opportunity for 2K. Because of the focus on the Four Horsewomen, fans miss out on historic moments such as the first ever Women's Royal Rumble, the first ever Women's Elimination Chamber match and the first ever Women's Money in the Bank match, just to name a few. The Royal Rumble match especially would come as a way for 2K to bring in folks like Molly Holly, Tori Wilson and Kelly Kelly who haven't been contracted to WWE in quite some time without throwing them in the game just for no reason. So that's our official breakdown of today's news, but be sure to stay tuned to the channel as we have an exclusive interview coming in the next few days, as well as some speculation about this year's game and what it could mean for the women's roster. To be sure you don't miss out on any of that, make sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel, as well as checking out our official website, revolution.com. Until next time, I've been The Revolution, and I hope you all have an amazing day.